how you feel even like Hey guys, so today we are installing um, the dasher for the bash plates at the bottom of the car. As you can see there is only one really thin plate and really nothing else protecting the rest of the car. So we'll install that, but while we edit and while we have it up on the hoist, we'll install a exhaust system just to get the V8 engine sing a little bit better. So where we're we going to start is up here, these are the sensors for the um, airflow for the exhaust. So we'll need to unplug those. There you go. There goes one. And let me to find the second one. I hope you guys can see in there. And I can get my hand up there. And one. Next step is we need to undo these two bolts on each side. So I've already done one here. That will free up the end of the Y section. Then after that, we we'll need to loosen that. And we'll drop cap. Bring like this. Unbolt here. And then once we remove this one here and this one here, the front should all drop off and this should just pull back out. This one. Okay, now we've unbolted the front part. We'll leave this one for the last and we will undo these two bolts here. That will free up the middle section. Once we undo this one, everything will just drop. Okay, that's that. Uh, next one, we'll undo this bracket. That should drop everything down. So we'll just undo this to be. Ah, we'll undo this one. So, probably come from that side. Alright. So now we're going to remove the screw. Uh, that should be the last one and then this whole section should just drop down and then we'll be able to pull it out. There we go. Awesome. Does it look like I know what I'm doing? So <laughs> I hope you do. We'll just realize that we can't slide the whole thing out because it would hit back here on the fuel tank cover. So we will have to undo these two screws and these two or bolts. And then this section will come out separately and these two will come out separately. So we just need to undo this one. And that one is tight. Ah, we need to get a bigger wrench. If it doesn't work, you just need more power. There we go. Okay, so now we removed all these bolts. We'll try to separate these ones and the Y section. And the whole thing will Fall down. Well, that you handle a little bit. <laughs> All good. Done. That <laughs> <laughs> was quicker than I thought. All right. All right. So now we dropped the uh, Y section. Literally dropped. Now we're just going to pull these ones out. They should just come out easily without dropping it. 
and these are the sensors that we need to remove and put into the new exhaust. This one here, and we'll just take the second one out. So that one should just pop out of here. And just wiggle out. Apparently there is a wiggle to it. And there it is. All right, so these are the gaskets that came out of the original exhaust. And these are the ones going in. You can tell the difference. All right, so now just remove the sensors, put them into the new exhaust. That's quite simple. Just undo that. And it goes straight back into the new one. And I'll just tighten it. That's it. Now we'll just do the same with the second one. All right, so we got a new piece. I will just slide it back where the original one was. Just be careful on the sensor so you don't break it. Gasket on. We'll just slide that on. There we go. Do the same with the other side, just put the gasket on, slide this one in, again just careful on the sensor. There we go. Alright, so we've got these two installed. That's it. Just leave it like that. <laughs> I'll show you start it up. to put this one in which I think goes this way yep yeah, we'll get this side in Attach this one on the ground. And that should just screw in. Alright, so we put this one together. Now we just need to wiggle it back in where the original one was. Should just go somewhere in there. There we go. Alright. Now we're in business. Double attach. There we go. Okay. Alright. So this one is just a matter of sliding them to the end. And then sliding it up here. Right there. And this one. Slides up here. And then it just pops in. Alright. Hey guys, hope you liked the video. Uh, this is a fairly simple mod to do yourself. Um, obviously, there are a lot of other mods that are probably more important for your car, uh, but when you buy a V8, you need to let it sing. So this is the first one that we've done. Here is some obligatory sound of the exhaust, startup, and what it sounds like in action.
right guys hope you liked the video don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like the video if you don't like the video let us know what we can improve we're still learning all right guys take care see you on the next one